to the reality of potentially losing America's most expensive and far-reaching space program. Artemis. On Friday, NASA revealed President Trump's proposed budget. It calls for canceling NASA's mega rocket and its custom capsule after the third flight. The SLS rocket and Orion capsule are billions of dollars over budget and years behind schedule. News 6 anchor and space expert Eric Von Aiken covered the last time NASA and the Space Coast lost a major program, the space shuttle. The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Within weeks of wheel stop in July 2011, some 7,000 space shuttle workers lost their jobs, many the same day. Right now, hundreds of workers are getting to see Atlantis up close, and for many of them, today is their last day of work here. And the fallout on the Space Coast was almost immediate. Just look around Titusville. Storefronts are empty and houses are for sale. We were here in downtown Titusville a year ago, right after the shuttle program ended and it doesn't look a whole lot different. It took 11 long years for NASA to launch its next rocket. They paused, they took their time, and they all gave a resounding go for launch. And liftoff of Artemis 1. But what's different this time around is the Space Coast and the Kennedy Space Center are not entirely dependent on NASA. As Artemis was getting off the ground here a decade ago, remember SpaceX was just getting started, now launching several times a week from here. And now Blue Origin is coming up fast. Both commercial companies have invested billions of dollars here on the Space Coast into infrastructure just like this and employ thousands of people who don't rely on NASA. If Congress ends up approving the president's budget as is, thousands of workers and contractors at the Kennedy Space Center would likely lose their jobs in 2027 after Artemis III launches. But that Artemis workforce is now just a fraction of the overall aerospace workforce on the Space Coast. Still, any job cuts out there, of course, would hurt. I talked to several groups and associations here on the Space Coast today, including here in Titusville, off camera, most of whom did not want to get involved. They say it's too early to comment, including a union rep who represents, he says, about a thousand Artemis workers over there who is concerned, as you might expect, about losing potentially what he calls good paying, good quality jobs. I need to tell you, though, there is still a long way to go before the president's budget is approved or not by Congress. So first, it has to go to committees in the Senate and the House. Then lawmakers in D.C. have to pick it apart. And then towards the end of the year, they will finally vote on a likely revised budget. And also consider this. NASA has said that Artemis benefits all 50 states across the country. So you can bet lawmakers in D.C. will be pushing back hard on any talk of Artemis cancellation. Of course, we'll be on top of it as always. For now at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken, News 6.